Hey, hey besties, it is our favorite time of the month. It is time to pay off some debt. I am super excited to be able to have the opportunity to do this and we're gonna do it together. So if that is something that you are here for, you ready to vibe with, then just go ahead and stay tuned. This is your very first time. Hi, my name is Jasmine, AKA Budget Treasures. And here on my channel, I talk about all things finance with the emphasis on budgeting, saving money, and paying off debt. Very nice to meet you. I really hope that you consider subscribing to the vibes around here. If you are a returning bestie, hey girl, hey, I'm super excited to be in your presence yet again. And if you are paying off debt with me, let's go. Let me say I'm super excited because a lot of you guys are paying off debt with me and the Bestie community, we are like smashing it. We're not waiting into the new year. We're not waiting into the first of anything. We're not waiting until Monday of anything. We're not waiting until the new nothing. We're doing it now. We are getting it done. So let's go ahead and hop in. If you are paying off debt with me, make sure that you leave your totals in the comments. Um, I am making sure that I am highlighting those who are paying off debt with me um, because I want to congratulate everybody for doing the hard thing. It's not easy to pay off debt. And so hats off to you. So I am going to be going to my debt free journey workbook. This is curated by myself. You can find this in the link down below. Um, if you haven't caught the first two videos, which is the debt free, uh, I guess you can say confessions video where I talk about how much uh, money I am in debt. That's why I'm setting up everything. You want to catch that video. And then my very first month paying off debt was in the month of September. This is month number two, episode number three. There is a playlist so you can catch it from the beginning. I really encourage that you watch all the videos so you can catch up if, if you're not caught up already. But this is the Debt Free Journey Workbook and it walks you through the process of paying off your debt. Um, I've gotten some really great reviews. So if you haven't picked it up, I really encourage that you do pick it up. I even give you some ideas on how to make extra money to make those debt payments. So I'm just going to really quickly review the plan and make sure that we are on track with the plan. And of course, if anything has changed, then we want to make those changes. So here is the plan. So why do I want to pay off debt? Let's make sure my reasonings are still the same. I want to increase my credit score again. Yes, I'm ready to start my homework projects again, 100%, um, which if you're not aware of what that is, my homework projects is, um, I started the homework series when I was um, saving money to buy my house. I do have a playlist about that. Now that I'm in my house, there's definitely some things that I want to do, some new appliances that I want to buy and fix up my house. And so that's going to be a whole project. And I can only do that when I don't have debt. I'm tired of having a million bills. Yes, I am still a thing. Um, I want my money to do the things that I love still a thing. And I want to purchase more real estate in the future still a thing. So we are on track with my why. Um, as far as my method, I am using the debt snowball method and the debt priority method, still a thing. And what income am I going to be using to pay off debt? My side hustle and nine to five income. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go right there. So, and then question number four, what day will you make your debt payments? The last day of the month. So this is not necessarily made on the last day. It's a couple days before the last day, but I do have all of the money that I'm going to be using. So I might as well go ahead and pay it off now. I said that it was going to take me six months initially, but really as fast as I can. I'm hoping one year or less. So this is the debt overview page. So I've already paid off three debts. That was the MasterCard, the uh, Chase Visa, and then the Apple credit card. Now the Apple credit card is important to note that I will still have a credit card bill because I have like my Apple Music coming out every month and that is on my credit card, which 
I didn't ask Apple to do that, but they just did it. Um, I may consider having it go to my checking account because if I'm paying interest on that, it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> so I'm gonna inquire about that. And if I am paying interest, I'm gonna tell them, I don't know if that's even an option, but I'm gonna call and see. Um, I don't wanna pay interest on something, just go ahead and take it out of my um, account. So the first thing I need to do is see how much money I have going towards debt. First, I'm gonna get my debt from my um, debt envelope here. This is from my nine to five. Let's see how much I have in here. I believe I have one, well, I don't know, 186 I think this is. So this is 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. So this is $186 that will be deposited into the bank. So I'm gonna get some scratch paper really quick. So we have 186. This is from my regular paycheck. And what this 186 is, this is half of the minimum payments here. So these are the minimum payments that I was paying on the debts that I paid off. That totaled 157. So I took the 157 and I divided it by two and that gave me $78.50. So each paycheck, I took out $78. I have a little bit more than that because I think I did have a $30 from, the, from this bill that I had paid off, okay? So just FYI, if you're wondering how to do the debt snowball, that's pretty much how you do it. You snowball these minimum payments into the very next bill that you will be paying off or debt you will be paying off. So that's 186. I'm gonna make this deposit into the bank. So I am subtracting 186. Right now the balance is zero. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in here. That's that. Now I am going to be, from my side hustle, I budgeted for this, um, my budgeting side hustle binder. I budgeted for. <laughs> so I budgeted for $3,293. My side hustle, $3,293. And 46 cents. All right, so let's see total what we have 186 plus 3293.46. So in total, I have $3,479.46 to pay towards debt. Okay, so the very next order so this is the overview right so this is the debt payment tracker and this lets me know the payoff order so we already have three that's paid off three debts so the next debt is going to be my macy's card and that's two thousand two hundred ninety three dollars and forty six cents and i did already check and make sure that that was the total so when I subtract two, two, nine, three, forty-six, that's gonna leave with 1,186, sounds about right. 1,186 is what I'm gonna pay towards the Capital One. And this is the Macy's to pay this debt. I am going to get out my handy dandy computer Oh, y'all, I'm all over the place. I don't have any room on this. Oh my goodness, y'all. Sorry. 
<laughs> so I am going to take a moment to pay this off. I'll be right back. Okay, Bessie, so I just made that payment. So the statement um, did close. And so because the statement closed, there was some interest that was added and it actually, the balance went from 2,293.46 to 2,357.93. So actually um, I had to end up paying a little bit more because the interest had hit. But look at something that's so interesting. This started off at $25.27.70. I paid a total of, well, in September, I paid about 300 and some odd dollars. And look, with that interest, it still went up to $23.57. So really, literally, if you're not trying to pay this off as fast as you can, it's, it's really going to chip at it just a little bit. So I'm glad that I got that done. I'm not sure how much interest, if any, will hit. I didn't look at the statement date, but I think the statement date is, I think it's only been less than five days, if that. So the interest, if I do have to pay another bill, the interest won't be much because I paid it off today instead of waiting until the due date. Now for Capital One, that means that my payment is not gonna be as big. So we had three, four, seven, nine, 46, right? Minus two, three, five, seven. And so instead of the 1186, we have 1121. 53. So I am going to log on to make that payment and I will be right back. All right, besties, I thought I was recording and I wasn't even recording. <laughs> so I did just go ahead and make the payment for Capital One and the balance was $2,973.22 because the interest hit. The interest was a whopping $82.56, way too much money. And so I did pay the $1,121.53. This is what was paid. And then for uh, for the Macy's, so I did jot that down already here for the Macy's. And then for Capital One, I'm going to put more of what I paid. So for Capital One, I paid, we're in October, right? Which I probably just should have. No, no, I think I'm fine. It's okay. So I paid one thousand two hundred. No, one thousand one hundred. Where's my white out? So the balance right now, so two, eight, 
nine L sixty six minus one one two one fifty three. So one seven six nine thirteen. And this may increase a little bit, of course, because of that good old interest, but it's all good. We definitely paid towards that. So here we are paid in full. Let's go ahead and put paid in full. Are you guys excited like I am? Paid in full. Won't he do it? We are almost done with. So now we have gotten four debts out of here. And the personal loan. I want to update the personal loan. Well, the personal loan is already updated. ADT is already updated. Supplemental taxes. I'm gonna update this one. Personal taxes is done. Loans pay. Oh, and then the loans. Let's do the loans because. So now that we have the debt payment trackers completely filled out. I'll do the calculations shortly so that I can complete the monthly debt balance. So currently in the month of September, we left with a balance of 28,468.08. And I have $5,415.03 paid in debt. So I am going to tally up what I paid in October but before we do that, I want to complete the debt progress jar. So we completed MasterCard, that's done. Visa, that's done. Credit card, Apple, that's done. Now we're gonna be completing the debt progress jar for the American Express card. And today is the 28th. I'm gonna go 1028. We're just gonna put 1028. I'm gonna write a line down there. I'm gonna be using my yellow highlighter to get this done. The satisfaction of the highlight. Let's go. Yay, yay. She wanna know me, I stay low key, I'll gas no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my paid in full. We are at a zero balance. Look at that. Ain't it pretty? <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. Ooh, doing things that I have never done before in a way that I am doing this now. Super proud of myself. So now for the Capital One, I am going to start with, let's go, let's see. First, I started with uh, pink. So we'll go with pink again, or actually, I can use another color. We're gonna use this color here. This is red. And it was just something I just picked up right now. And the balance for Capital One, 176913. So one seven, that's five two. So basically here. We are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
we are at so this is 10 percent paid off this is 20 percent paid off 30 percent paid off um sorry 10 20 30 40 percent paid off 50 percent paid off 60 percent paid off 70 percent paid off 80 percent paid off 90 percent paid off and 800 percent paid off so that's pretty much how i do it so here we are 40% paid off and I'm going to put the dates here, which today is the 28th. Okay. Well, you can just write 28 and draw a line. I just want to do it that way. So let's go ahead and get to highlighting. So we're doing pretty good. We have, we are 40% paid off for the Capital One. We're making good, good progress. I think that's my last, the Capital One is my last credit card. After that, then we go into the personal loan. And the personal loan is not a credit card, right? So yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm almost credit card debt free. Won't he do it? So we need to do the totals and how much I have in debt now. I need to, well, how much I paid in debt is I need to complete this here. So I paid a total today of 3,000 for 79 and 46 cents but the balance let's see what i have now because some things have changed and then we're gonna do my new minimum payment amount and then we'll be done so for the capital one is 176913 plus three one four three point sixty seven plus three twenty seven so we are at 24 wow we're at 24 four one oh two one two wow and we started out at 33 405 how are you guys I was getting a phone call so we started out at 33, 405, $8,900, almost $10,000 in debt has been paid over the course of two months. And that is because I've been going hard. <laughs> I really wanna get this paid off, but that is amazing how I've gone from almost $30,000 no, not almost, over $30,000 to now almost $20,000. So this is definitely good. So now I'm gonna have to see what the new minimum payment is that will be snowballed into now the next debt, which is the Capital One. So this one is paid. So out of my regular paycheck, I'm gonna take 30 plus 57 plus 133.18 plus 70. Now that's 290.18. So I will be snowballing that into this credit card. 
So today is the, what's today? 28th. So it's 290.18. So that means every paycheck, I'm gonna take 290.18. I'm gonna divide that into two. I am going to take 145. It's 09, but I'm gonna just do 145. And then I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna put that in my debt envelope. And then in November, I'm gonna take the 290, 18 on top of the minimum payment of 113, which I kind of already just made that right now. And then I'm going to make the additional payment. Plus any side hustle money that I have, I will throw that towards that debt and then that one will be paid and then we'll be working on the personal loan that will be next and then after that then we'll get this ADT thing out of here that one will be real easy and then I'll start working on the 401k loans maybe <clears throat> I might start working on those but then I'll, I might I might switch some things around I actually might start working on my personal taxes. I think that one is the next. I think this, the personal taxes is the next ones to get out of here, actually. So I may do some looking over to see what's actually next. Cause I think I have after Capital One, next in line is the personal loan. But next in line should actually be the taxes because the taxes is has a lower balance than that. So the taxes actually might go before that. But I think the reason why I chose this one is because the minimum payment for this person alone is 133.72. That's a lot. The minimum payment for this is only $50 and the interest is lower. So I'm actually, after I pay this debt off, I'm gonna be switching to the avalanche method. And to me, it's gonna make more sense to get that person loan out of here because it has the highest interest rate and then I'll do the taxes because that has the lower interest rate. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do that. Okay, I just talked myself through that. <laughs> I hope that helped anyone, if anyone, <laughs> if it did. So besties, we are done another successful debt payment video. And make sure you guys watch the other two episodes if you haven't watched those yet. This is episode number three and this is going in the playlist. Please share this with anyone if you think that this would help anyone on their debt-free journey or if they're maybe looking for a video and you think this is very helpful, please make sure that you share it with your tribe. Um, and let's get let's get more debt paid off. Yeah, let's let this reach the hands of your friends and family so that we can get from up under this mountain of debt. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Go be great, besties. Peace out.